I am going to read the beginning of my first column, which was titled, uh, The Sports Hero Was Re Redefined on May 25th, 2020. Let's reminisce, shall we, on marveling at his airness in 89, how it felt to witness him catch the rock in Cleveland's Richfield Coliseum and with three ticks left pound a pair of offhand dribbles rise and hang lifetimes at the foul line before releasing a double clutch J that rattled the rim for a series clincher. Remember the flood of pride of beholding Phelps at the Beijing Olympics him lagging mid-pack at the turn of the 100-meter butterfly final, but powering down the last 50 meters and winning on the utter last stroke, his seventh of eight goals. Recall the gobsmack of seeing King James in the seventh, in game seven of the 2016 finals, him swooping from the fifth dimension to smack Iguodala's breakaway almost through the backboard a last minute feat that all but sealed the first championship for his beloved hometown. Somewhere, a billion somewheres, there are young people dreaming of equaling those astonishments. Somewhere, millions or billions of somewheres, there are grown ass men, confession, I was that boy and am that man, carrying the hope, memory, myth of those deeds around like glowing amulets of proof that heroes exist. But of late, I've been wondering if physical greatness alone will ever again suffice to anoint a hero. His airness is my pick, who you got? For goat of Hoopers and been touted far and wide as the greatest sportsman and most famous athlete of all time. And yet, as much as this hurts my young self, MJ shut up and dribble, jump, shoot, win, smile, a political ethos would rank him much lower where he playing today. Check it. The sports hero was redefined on May 25th, 2020. The day Derek Chauvin neck kneeled to death George Floyd on camera. Not only did Floyd's death catalyze the Black Lives Matter movement into the biggest global protest in the history of the world, it ushered into being a redefinition of American sports herohood. Mm -hmm. Bygone, the era where a sports hero is known most for his butter beezers or bottom of the ninth grand slams or Hail Mary miracles. The Floyd era is new and the challenge it presents for athletes to exceed measures of heroics now shifting quick, fast, alacritous, to be vocal and active leaders in new ways and to do it first. Buku players have now taken a knee, but who's more known for it than Kaepernick? Last month, multiple teams sat out games in protest, but none more notable than the Bucks, who did it first. First, it's almost everything in this new era. First means that someone cared so much that they imagined something no one else had and hazarded a risk no one else thought to take or dare to. That they seized the day without a consensus of consent or the stultifying drag of too much consideration. That's my piece.